Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I appreciate you clicking on that video as always. And we are back with another Rackstall haul. And this time I was able to grab two fragrances from Marshalls. Both were around the $40 price point. So I consider those both cheapies. One was actually red stickered. First fragrance that I grabbed was the red sticker at $40 marked down from $49.99. Scent I'm talking about is Dolce & Gabbana Pour Homme. And the other fragrance, I have smelled this one. Believe it or not, I haven't smelled Dolce & Gabbana Pour Homme. But this next one I have smelled, it was a long time ago. I remember liking it, I, I thought it was okay. Um, but I wanted to sort of revisit it because I think this one, uh, at least with you, what you guys tell me is sort of an underrated gem from the house scent I'm talking about is Hugo Boss Unlimited. So I'm gonna bust these open. I'm gonna try them both on skin. I'm gonna skip the strip today, just in the interest of time. I'm gonna try these, see what I think of them. And I'm gonna let you guys know if they, if essentially they're worth your money. So Dolce & Gabbana Pour Homme, this is the 75 ml. And my understanding of this fragrance is that this was originally released in the early 90s, I wanna say 1994. And the brand essentially relaunched this fragrance in 2012. I wanna say they didn't really change the formulation much. However, if you ask someone like Mr. Smelly 1977, Dan Naughton himself, Check out his live streams every Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. I, from time to time, will appear in one, uh, usually Saturday night. This is one of his favorite fragrances. I want to say, if not his favorite sort of signature type fragrance. However, he is more into the vintage fragrances. So he would pay an additional um, price, essentially, to get the vintage formulation of this. And the bottles differ in the sense that vintage is distinct with a sticker on the bottle instead of just the the print, um, instead of just the paint there uh, directly to the bottle. So let's check out the atomizer. Decent atomizer. Okay, so right off the top, very citrusy, very aromatic, really bright, uplifting. I'm really happy with the citrus right now. It's not, doesn't smell like a cleaner product. It smells really natural. I'm also getting a lot of lavender from this. Has a slight bit of spiciness to this, but that citrus is really nice up top. It's, I wanna say I'm getting lemon and some orange. Has a slight bit of sweetness to it, just the right amount of sweetness. This is reminiscent of a 90s fragrance and it's, sort of nostalgic for me. It smells familiar and like I've smelled it before, but it's really well done. It's uh, really sort of uh, well-rounded. It's soft, it's gentle. It's not anything overpowering. Again, slightly spicy, just the right amount of spice and sweetness. This thing is awesome. I, I actually would be curious now to smell the vintage formulation because obviously I'm not a vintage snob, but this is so good that I'd be curious to see what the differences are between the vintage and the uh, current day formulation. I can't quite put my finger on what this is reminding me of. Definitely a 90s fragrance, uh, but I love it. I, I love that 90s vibe to this. I am gonna take a quick look at the notes while I put on the Boss Bottled uh, Unlimited and I'll let you know. So the notes for Dolce & Gabbana Pour Homme, top notes are citruses, bergamot, neroli, and mandarin orange. Mid notes are lavender, sage, and pepper. And the base notes are tobacco, tonka bean, and cedar. So I'm gonna let the Dolce Gambana sit for a bit on my skin and see how much it changes. But the Boss Bottled Unlimited, this is how I remember this bottle, just, you know, white. And I do remember some of the older bottles having that unlimited on there was actually green text. And here it's black. And if I remember correctly, yeah. So there was also a green um, atomizer on it, but however, this one, is a uh, white atomizer. So my guess is that this is the differences, the major differences in the bottle. I don't think they changed the formulation. Let's check the atomizer. Pretty good atomizer, really green up top. Um, let's get this on skin. Sweet in the air. Yeah, so it's, uh, I wanna say there's a minty greenness to this. It's leafy. Wow, this is surprisingly well done. It's it's It smells really natural to me. There's definitely a sweetness in here, some woodiness, a bit musky. It's reminding me a lot of something that I've smelled a lot of in like the early 2000s. Something that a lot of guys would wear. Not sure exactly, but it's familiar. 
early 2000s fragrance worn a ton by guys my age at the time. There's also a sweet spiciness to this. So you get the mint, what I would imagine is mint. It's very sort of leafy and herbal smelling to me. This is nice. I'm going to take a look at the notes and see what's in here. So the notes for Hugo Boss, Boss Bottled Unlimited. Top notes are mint, grapefruit, and violet leaf. Mid notes are pineapple, cinnamon, and rose. And the base notes are white musk, labdanum, and sandalwood. So this is just a really fresh smelling springtime, summertime type scent. And what it's reminding me of, because I looked up the notes on Fragrantica, uh, Lacoste's uh, Blanc, the white bottle. That is what I'm smelling. It's very similar to that fragrance. I want to say the Blanc is a bit more floral to me, but this one, it has sort of all the same elements and it was certainly reminiscent of that scent. So I understand the comparison. Let's go back to the Dolce & Gabbana. Okay, so this one is changing quite a bit. I'm getting more tobacco now from the Dolce & Gabbana. Still really clean and soapy smelling to me. You have that lavender, you still have a slight bit of those citruses, but a lot of those citruses have faded and there's more of that tobacco coming out now. Overall though, it smells really uh, smooth and creamy and uh, you have that tobacco, which is adding a really nice element to this. I quite like this one. It smells fresh, masculine, clean. I would imagine that the Dolce & Gabbana Pour Homme can really be worn as a signature scent anytime, anywhere. It has a classiness to it. It has that 90s vibe, but also I think this one is timeless. I can understand why someone would wear this as a signature scent. Uh, really masculine, really sort of put together a nice fragrance overall. I'm happy with this one. Very nice. As far as the Hugo Boss goes, I think this one is really nice. Uh, it. You know, for me, never been overly impressed with the Boss Bottle line. With that being said, there are ones that I haven't tried and they just happen to be the ones that people love the most. So I will be trying those eventually. But right now, this one is really nice. It's different than most of the ones that I've smelled from the line. It's really refreshing, perfect spring, summertime type scent. You could wear this. Uh, it's uh, kind of playful. I, I would imagine that, uh, you know, a guy in his 20s, even younger, could really pull this off. It's going to smell great. It's playful. It's sweet. It's fun, but it's also uh, really well done. So it's not going to be um, too in your face or too harsh or anything like that. So it's sort of a classy example of something like a Lacoste Blanc where that one smells really youthful to me. This one, a little more grown up. As always, what I'll do is I will wear both of these in the next week or so and give you sort of my full impressions of it and talk about that in my weekly wears video, which drops every single Monday. So if you're new to the channel, I drop every Monday what I wore the previous week. So it's my weekly rotation. So if that's content that you think you want to see more of, definitely subscribe to the channel. That's all I have today, guys. As always, let me know in the comment section down below what your last rack store pickup was. I know a lot of you guys are running into empty shelves and I can appreciate that. But keep an eye out for these. I think the Dolce & Gabbana Pour Homme, I've seen this one quite a bit at the rack stores and that is definitely worth you trying. I think it's fantastic. And for $40, it's a great fragrance. If you like what you saw today, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, share this video, hit that bell notification so you're updated whenever I upload new content. But until then, have a fantastic day and I'll see you in the next video. <laughs>